Good morning, everybody. Actually, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And I am so excited today. This is going to be one of those meetings that you might want to just uh, watch it again and again. And I uh, have, hopefully, we'll have uh, enough information and um, um, just really just focus on the facts and uh, answer all your questions. So, one of the hot, hottest topics uh, been floating around is people asking is, what are the unique features and differences between the Healy and the Mahili? So we're gonna we're gonna dive into that. We we'll promise you. Um, before we start, I just want to just uh, have a quick introduction of myself, and then we have an amazing guest who's joining us today. Um, as to myself, my name is Mei Chang. Um, I'm a retired chartered accountant, certified financial planner, MBA, and um, and uh, the reason why I no, no longer do those things because uh, I was having uh, health issues, taking a lot of medications. So, and then I got really, really passionate into uh, functional medicine. So, uh, learn about Chinese medicine, acupuncture, you name it. And uh, I was able to get, get rid of all the medications I'm taking. And I'm just, just uh, passionate about learning everything about how to uh, support our immune, our immune systems to uh, restore our our our, uh, our natural health. So when I learned about Healy or frequencies about one and a half years ago, that was it. I, I feel like I found home finally. Everything kind of makes sense. Everything kind of makes sense. And since then, I've been just uh, really passionate about sharing this amazing science that actually exists for over a hundred years. Um, today joining me with this uh, amazing presentation is Dr. Steve. And um, we are just so fortunate. Dr. Steve has over 45 years of functional medicine uh, experience. And he's also the Dean of the International Medical University of Natural Education, Doctor of Director of Quantum Health Associates in Los Angeles, uh, the a price, a Vice President of Healy World. He's also a key member of our Board of Directors for Healy America. And he's also an author, a uh, lecturer, and a time waiver practitioner. So, uh, Doc Steve, please just take a few minutes to say hi to everybody before we start this amazing presentation. Absolutely. Well, good morning, May. Very early morning, I should say. It's just turned 7 a.m. here uh, in Los Angeles. And I'm really excited to be here to share about the time waiver that I've been using for approximately the last uh, two months or so. Uh, I'm also a member of the product uh, advisory board uh, from LA. And so what we do is we beta test a lot of the products that come out before they come out so we can look and see and make sure there are no issues or bugs or problems. And that's what I have been doing for the last two months. And I've had the uh, exciting uh, ability to play around with this amazing device. And I'm just really happy to and excited to present it to all of you today. Well, let's, just, let's get started. And uh, I we just kind cannot of, wait uh, to make learn the, from you. Uh, can we enlarge the screen a little bit here? Uh, you, if you hit the view button, I believe, in the upper left corner, it probably okay. will make it as an individual upper left where it says view. Does that look better for you? Uh, yes, that is better. Okay, I'm just trying So a little to... bit of background here. Um, as you mentioned, I've been, uh, June 1st, I started 45 years in practice. Started out in functional medicine, uh, anti-aging medicine, nutritional medicine, and had been doing that for many, many years. And then uh, in the late 90s, got introduced to the whole field and concept of frequency medicine. Uh, quantum energetic medicine, and I have been practicing that since that time, so I have uh, 20 plus years of experience. And I'll tell you, when I got into the field of uh, quantum medicine, it completely changed my life and changed the life of every patient that I see, um, and it set me on a course that continues to grow um, every year. 
and it's exciting. Uh, it's uh, you know, it's so excited, exciting for me to be involved with Healy. And the way I actually got involved with Healy is really interesting. So I just want to share that brief story. So having worked uh, in this realm, and I use a professional device, uh, as I said, uh, it was actually developed by NASA, and similar to Time Waver, a little bit different, but it got similar type of a device. And, um, you know, my whole process in terms of working with people is that health is a process, it's not an event, which means you don't expect to just automatically within one session with a doctor or, you know, having one interaction with somebody completely change everything that's happened to you since you've been born. But it's a process that occurs over time. So over the years, as patients came to me, and usually in my practice, they come see me once a month, once every six weeks, and we uh, check them out to see what's out of balance, but we also do treatments on them, balancing treatments through frequencies, similar to what we do with the Healy. And I thought that, you know, wouldn't it be great if one day somebody could develop a portable device that I could give to my patient when they left the office that would be able to continue the work that I was doing with them. And I asked the company that I was working with at the time if they would be willing to look into something like that. And of course they said, yes, that's exactly where we would like to go to. So for every six months or so over time, I would call them and say, where are you, how are you doing? And, and what stage are you at? And, and how soon are we gonna get this? And, Every time they would say, we're still working on it. It's not an easy concept to put together, costs a lot of money, a lot of research. Um, and so they would put me off basically when I spoke to them. Uh, call us back in six months, let's see where we're at. Well, this went on and on for about, oh, I would say at least three or more years. And finally one day, and this was back in 2019, I called them up and said, hey, look, you know, we've been talking about this um, concept and I'd really like to know an answer from you. When is this going to happen? When do you actually see that this is physically going to happen? And they said to me, you know, we've been, we've been working on this for so many years. We put a lot of money into this and we just don't, at this point in time, don't feel that uh, we have enough knowledge to be able to to make this thing happen so we're putting the project on hold uh for a bit and i said well that's great news and i could hear on the other side of the phone that they were pretty surprised um to have me say that but you see in my life the way it works is that when one door closes another door usually always opens so the fact that they told me that it was no longer possible for them to do it I could take my attention and focus off of that and now open it up to the possibility that it would show up somewhere else. And so what I did is I, I do a lot of work and have been doing a lot of work uh, it, with meditation, um, with uh, manifestation specifically. And so that evening after they told me that they didn't think that this was something that be able to accomplish in a short period of time, I sat down and did a manifestation meditation. And basically in my mind during that meditation, I listed every single one of the aspects that I was looking for in this particular portable device. I taught, I, I said in my mind uh, the types of scans that it did, what it could do, uh, the size of it. I, I even said it was uh, gonna be made in Germany because I was sure that the Germans could probably come up with something because when I was first introduced to energy medicine in the early 80s, actually, and I studied a little bit over in Austria and Germany, uh, the first frequency device that I ever worked with was a German frequency the device called the Vega test device back in 1985. So I knew the Germans were always ahead in this field and probably for what I was looking for, they'd be the ones. And again, I listed, you know, all the specifics. And, you know, in my practice, when patients come to me, sometimes they will ask me um, to work with them, not just on a physical level, but sometimes on a mental, emotional level, 
I also have a master's in counseling psychology. And so a lot of times, you know, people will come in, for example, and say they're having a difficulty uh, finding a partner. They really want to be in a relationship, but they just can't find the right partner. And what I do is I send them home with homework and I say to them, go home this evening, take a pad and a pen and write down 100 aspects of what are you looking for in that partner. And I don't care how mundane it is. I don't care if it's the color of their hair, uh, their religion, what they do for a living, whatever it is, all of those qualities that you want in that person, write it down. Because what I have learned in my life when I work in that level of manifestation is the more specific I can get about what it is I'm looking for, the more likely it's going to show up because everything we want is actually out there already in the universe. And it's just our matter of lining up what we want, what's out there. It's sort of whole, the whole process of quantum entanglement actually brought to life. And so I did the same thing uh, with this device that I was looking for, it was very specific. I even said in my meditation that I'd be the first person in the United States to have one. Um, it wouldn't be, you know, uh, available here yet. Uh, and and then I and then I let it go. And then of course that's you know you put out your intention. I call it an intention. And a, and as we know, when we work with the Healy, intentions are probably one of the most important processes of starting any Healy session is to have a really clear intention, to have a very positive, very present intention. So for example, if you were wanted to treat yourself with your Healy and you had a headache, you don't wanna start your intention out with, I wanna get rid of my headache because then the brain focuses on the word headache. Instead, you wanna say, my mind and my head is clear, and balanced at this moment. And that would be an example of a positive intention that you might use if you were dealing with a specific issue like that. So again, and then you kind of let it go and have the session happen. And so I let it go. And literally seven days later, it was exactly seven days. We were during, it was funny because it was during, I knew that because we were in a Mercury retrograde at that time. And that day that Mercury went direct, that evening, I was on the internet, I was looking at things, doing some research, and all of a sudden, a page popped up in German. I don't speak German. And I was like, oh, this is weird. I wonder what this is. I put it through Google Translate, and it was a personal page from someone who was describing this device. And I was like, oh my God, this sounds like what I had just put out into the universe seven days ago. And there wasn't really any contact information. There was just a small picture in the corner and a person's name. So immediately I Googled them. I went on Facebook. I, I tried to connect with this person. I found out their information. I wound up doing that. And I wrote them a letter telling them, I emailed them saying who I was, what I was looking, to, looking for, what I was looking to do. And the next day we had a two and a half hour conversation about Healy and as he spoke to me about it, it was like, oh my God, this is exactly what I had put out there to the universe. So for me, and I, I know most of us out here, because when I speak to lots of people that are working with the Healy, everyone seems to say they manifested Healy in their life. Wow. Well, I honestly believe that I manifested Healy in my life. By doing That's that. amazing. Specific, That's an amazing uh, story. It's true. It's absolutely That's how true. lucky we are today. And uh, we're just so we're just so lucky to learn from you today. I think we should just get started and then just right. uh, you know go through the slides. And uh, I actually prepare a little comparison. And my screen is actually. And before we start the, this presentation, May, the one thing I I want to say that I think is really really important is that the Mac Healy is not a replacement of the Healy. It's not better than the Healy. As a matter of fact, we basically have three different modalities that we have available to us with the Healy to, to be able to use in various different situations, which I think is really, really important to know because that's really what differentiates us from every other frequency company out there is our ability to deliver frequencies in different ways. 
Of course, we have the Healy, which delivers microcurrent to the body, which is more of delivering frequencies on an electrical realm. And then we move over to the Healy coil, which is a way of delivering frequencies on a scalar wave frequency, which is with the Tesla coils that puts out a zero point field, a field of uh, possibility. And now we have the Mag Healy, which works what we call pulse magnetic fields. So as we can see, each one of those devices uses a different way of delivering frequencies into your body. And it isn't like one is better than the other. It's more like they are complementary to one another. They are synergistic to one another. As a matter of fact, if you use the Healy along with the coil, if you happen to have two Healy's, you'll notice you have an enhanced effect by using both the Healy microcurrent. And then at the same time, if you're wearing, wearing a Healy coil, you'll notice the effect is actually greater than just using the coil or just using the Healy. Well, the same thing occurs when we use the Mag Healy. If you're using the Mag Healy at the same time as you're using the microcurrent or the coil, you're basically enhancing the, the effect of those devices and of that field. And as Marcus has said when he's spoken about the Mag Healy, you actually create a resonance in between these devices. They all start to combine and resonate together. So that's really important to note because this is an addition to something that we already have. It is not a replacement for something that we already have. And that to me is really key. That is correct. I think it's so important to just set the concept straight, the science. And I, my understanding is with the two of them, I think we are the only company that offers such uh, 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 a selection or combination of different ways of um, uh, using frequencies in, exactly. in restoring uh, our I, energetic field. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, having been in the field, you know, for, for this long a period of time, uh, I can tell you that I am pretty aware uh, and knowledgeable about every other type of uh, frequency device um, out there. And the thing about Healy is that there is no comparison, absolutely no comparison with Healy and all the other devices that are out there. Um, and you know, I, I think this is important for me to share this too, because people always get the question and they never know how to respond uh, to it. But it's like somebody will say, well, what's the difference between a Healy device and a Rife device? Or what's the difference between a Healy device and a BMF device? And the way I respond to it is the fact that I categorize those devices as what I call static frequency devices. And then I look at Healy as more of what I call dynamic frequency devices. And the reason I say that is if you're using one of those other devices, basically what you're doing is you have some sort of a manual or a book that's given to you with a list of specific conditions and you look up those conditions and it'll give you, uh, you know, a couple of frequencies for each one of those conditions. And basically you set that device to that frequency. However, that frequency that you're using is the same frequency that everybody that uses the device uses. And I know because of the practice that I've had in functional medicine for the last 45 years, I treat on the level of what I call biochemical individuality because there are no two people that are the same. And irregardless of what condition or disease a person has, you really need to treat the underlying cause and the underlying cause for people is different. So if I, for example, had 10 people sitting with a Healy and I walked around the room and I looked at their phones to see what frequencies were running for, say, let's go back to that headache again. I would note that on all 10 people's devices, the frequencies coming down would be unique and different. Whereas if I was using one of the other devices like a Rife device, PMF device for that same condition, it would be a single frequency that all 10 people in the room would be using. And then the next day, if I wanted to continue that treatment because I wasn't complete, using those other devices, those same frequencies are used. And as we know, every, every time we use a Healy and do a session on a Healy, 
it is a unique session. In other words, it's mathematically impossible to ever run the same Healy session twice because of the fact of the hundreds of thousands of frequencies that come down uh, to us. Uh, and they're specific to that moment in time. So that's really the biggest separation between everything Healy does and all the other devices, as well as the fact that most of the other devices out there don't have scanning capability. So again, there's no way for them to really specifically figure out for themselves what frequency they might want to use. And that's the big difference between Healy and everything else. That, that's amazing. I you know all, you know what I always explain to people and while we listen to Dr. Steve, we, we hear all the science, all the details. And the, the one of the things that excite me the most is that the Healy or the Makili is for everyone. It's a non non-medical devices and non non non-medical de device. So basically, literally, if you know how to use a cell phone. You get the device installed, you press the button, you can use it. Is that correct? It's very easy to use. It's you don't need to plug be and trained. Play, right. And as a matter of fact, the Mag Healy uh, is probably the easiest of the three to actually use uh, because there's really nothing you need to do but turn it on uh, and then choose the particular program that you're wanting to run. So, yes, it's very easy. And of course, you know, in our community, we have uh, people really, really young all the way up to, I know people that are in their 80s and 90s that are using Healy's on a daily basis. So it is extremely user-friendly. And um, and I understand that there are a lot of devices out there. Sometimes I get so confused, especially when it comes to the PMF devices. And I, I just, it's mind boggling. Some of them cost like $4,000, $8,000 and they are screaming. They don't know how to use it. And some of them you have to have lie down to use it. And other features that I want to highlight to everybody is the portability of exactly. our device. Can you point out about the portability of the Mac Healy and also well, yeah, about the, the uh, single frequencies versus how we have specific uh, dual frequencies for specific programs for the Mac Healy? Absolutely. I mean, the great thing about the Mac Healy for me is that um, there are many ways of using it. And what I mean by that is that it can be used on yourself personally. So for example, here, you know, if I'm running one of the uh, McMakin programs and say I have a tendonitis in my shoulder and I wanna treat that, I tune in the specific uh, program for tendons and then I place the Magheli directly on the area of the body that I'm looking to treat. However, if I want to use what are called the atmosphere programs, which we'll go into in a moment, I can just put the McKeely in the, on my desk in the middle of the room up to say five to six feet away. And it's not only working with me, but it's working with anyone else that happens to be in that same environment at the same time, which is such uh, you know, a great benefit. And it's different than using just the Healy, which we usually use to treat a single person at a time, although we can treat groups in Healy uh, in the blue dot. But this allows us, as we'll see as we get through some of the atmosphere programs, uh, how practical this device is and how it can be used in group settings and really easy to do. And it's also uh, able to be used when it's on the power supply. So if you have it sitting on your power supply, uh, which is um, around, uh, you know, a power supply here, I can't sort of show it to you. It's still it's plugged into the wall here. Um, uh, you won't run out of when uh, we run out of a charge because uh, it's always recharging itself. Unlike Healy, where you shouldn't be running it when it's plugged in, with the Mac Healy, it's encouraged to run it while it's on its power source. Uh, so that it stays charged all the time. Yeah, we actually have a few slides to go through uh, the, the various programs to give you an idea and overview what kind of specific programs that the McKeeley actually uh, um, offer. And each of the specific program has uh, dual frequencies uh, that are specific to treating uh, for, for uh, 
helping with a specific issue. But before we no, dive I, into this, I want to just want yeah, to... I want to just clear clarify just a little bit for you here. So we're really you know into the science here. Uh, the MacMakin programs are the ones that have the dual frequencies. So they don't all have dual frequencies, but the MacMakin programs, which is uh, which is true frequency specific microcurrent. So at the very onset of Healy, and again, I got involved at the very early days in 2019 when Healy first came out. A lot of people were were, were sharing Healy as a as an FSM device. They were talking about the fact that it was a frequency specific microcurrent device. And ultimately, we were told specifically by Carolyn McMakin that the Healy was not a frequency specific microcurrent device because the way she presents frequency specific microcurrent and the way it is out there in the, in the medical realm, it's a two channel device. In other words, two frequencies have to be running simultaneously. Uh, whereas with the Healy, we have a single frequency, but it changes every 10 seconds. So I just wanted to be clear, clear with you that some of the programs are dual frequency programs and some of the programs are single frequency programs. And we'll get into that in a moment. Right, right. So that's why I highlight here that the, the, the specific difference between Healy and the Mac Healy is the single and dual frequencies. And thanks for clarifying that within the Mac Healy that the McMakin is the dual frequencies. But um, we have a separate uh, presentation that uh, people can re review the recording last week from uh, our, our um, uh, Dr. McMakin's presentations. I also learned from her that uh, she, the, the FSM protocol within the Mac Healy, it is the same as the um, FF, FSM protocol using microcurrent uh, with the practitioners. There are differences in terms of uh, the difference in program, the program within the Mahili, a non-medical device. Um, when, when you have really, um, I guess, uh, uh, serious issues and you have to work um, with a practitioner, that they can actually program. Uh, they have a lot more protocols beyond the 20, 24, 25 that come with the Makili, and you have to be well-trained to be an FSM uh, practitioner. But within the one that she has specifically selected and put inside the Makili, uh, they're easy to use, very safe to use. You don't need to be a, a therapist. You can get the device and use it. They're very effective. And the effectiveness of the magnetic frequencies uh, our, uh, using the Makili of these specific programs are as effective, that she told me, as uh, being uh, the, the similar uh, programs used by practitioners. So I'm very, very excited about that. And uh, before we dive into the, the Mac Healy um, uh, presentation, I just want to highlight a few key features of the Healy that is so important that I want to remind everybody that it's only unique to the Healy. But first of all, um, with the different program, we always refer them as the Blue App and the the pink app and with the blue app specifically uh, we can uh, tap into the the information field and uh, do scans and uh, do bio uh, resonance scans and to identify areas of imbalances in in all sorts of area in terms of uh, spirit, spiritual realm, uh, the mind, the emotions, and body. So it's a truly holistic device that we can identify our imbalances, and and then we have sp uh, frequencies uh, through vibrating um, uh, our our blue app. We can restore our imbalances. Like uh, we have also um, po um, a, a module called an aura module. So we can do. Uh, uh, an aura scan, uh, identify specific imbalances in the seven chakra, and uh, even within the uh, the aura uh, the aura module, we can we can actually use to create our our own frequencies device. We also have a, a different training that uh, go in detail into that, and and that's that's very very unique. That's only available with the Healy. And, and within the, the, the Blue App, there's also a very exciting program. It's my personal favorite, which is the coaching module. And that can identify and analyze the root cause on some of our imbalances and, and help us to identify those blockages so that we can overcome a lot of challenges in life in terms of our relationships, personal relationships, family relationships, social relationships, emotional uh, balances, 
Um, even things like if you want to do better in terms of uh, uh, achieving your goals, uh, have better business results, uh, there's just so much to it. And like, again, we have a separate training to identify that. And that's just so important because um, life is just more than um, um, a few things and it's involving our inter interaction with different peoples and our energies uh, get uh, quantum and tangle with everybody in the universe. So with the information field, uh, it, we get into the, uh, the quantum entanglement and uh, with the Healy, we truly have a unique device that can help us to, uh, to, to bring our, our, our imbalances uh, back into uh, restoring our, our bioenergetic field and, and help in also um, kind of tap into the, glo the global information field to help us raise the global consciousness. That's what excites me because we are seeing the world is going crazy. Uh, mental health is problems, it's going through the roof. Like we have the highest suicidal rates, people are getting sick from all kinds of mysterious circumstances. I was, I, I'm just, it's mind boggling. Like there's just so many ways that you can just like, you know, one of the article I heard was like, you can actually fall in different sleeping position. You can just die from a heart attack. There's just so much craziness happening out there. And well, with yeah, the Healy, and there's, and, and there's a reason for it too, because um, as we all know, over the last three years or so, the world has gone through some major, major changes, uh, especially as it as it affects one's health, um, and therefore that has created a very, very high level of stress in people's bodies: physical stress, mental stress, emotional stress. I actually, with my uh, other professional device have a way when a person first comes in to see me uh, when I hook them up one of the first readings I get is their actual stress levels a quantified stress level so I can see how stressed they are and you know the preceding um, 20 some odd years of my practice there would be possibly 15 to maybe 20 percent of people that came in that were really in that sort of red danger zone I call it of really high levels of physical, mental, emotional stress. But I have found within the last year, year and a half, it's about 85% of all the patients that come in to see me are in this really high stress state, both physically stressed, mentally and emotionally stressed. And you know, my firm belief is that the cause of almost all disease is inflammation um, because you can trace almost every disease back to that state. But then if you wanna know what's the cause of inflammation, you always go to stress. So because of what we're dealing with as a planet right now, I think you're going to see a lot more chronic degenerative disease start showing up around us more so than we've seen in the past. And the great thing about the Healy, it's the perfect tool to be able to eliminate stress. And it, maybe this is a good time for me to just throw in a little uh, key here because people will always say to me, you know, what is your favorite Healy program? I have a few favorites, but my absolute favorite Healy program, and this may surprise you, is a program called Bed Rest. It's in the sleep category and it's called Bed Rest. Why is this my favorite Healy program? Well, as I just mentioned, we're all under constant stress all the time. And basically we're in what's called sympathetic. So our nervous system is divided into sympathetic and parasympathetic. Sympathetic nervous system is the classic fight or flight part of the nervous system, whereas parasympathetic is the functioning of all the good functioning of all the organs, the state of calmness and relaxation. And so when we want to go from sympathetic to parasympathetic, the best way to do that, the fastest and easiest way to do that is to stimulate the vagus nerve, which is a nerve that runs all the way through the body, innervates almost all parts of the body. And we can do that. We can do that with the Healy. We can do that with the coil. We can do that even with the new Mag Healy because we have programs that allow us to specifically stimulate the vagus nerve. In the Healy, it's the bed rest program. In the Mag Healy, as we'll see, it's the vagus nerve program. And if you use that program on a regular basis, you'll find very shortly your body starts to return 
to that balanced parasympathetic state and gets out of that whole fight and flight that we deal with on a daily basis. And I think that's a key because I know that many people, when I speak about the bed rest program, they haven't even thought about using it because they just assumed that it was a program maybe that you used before you go to bed or something to do with sleep, but it's not. It's specifically designed to stimulate the vagus nerve. And that is one of the key components. If you look up vagus nerve these days, you'll see it's a really hot topic out there. So many people, so many companies are talking about ways to stimulate the vagus nerve. So if you're using the Healy to do it, basically what I recommend, if you have access to the ear clips, you use it with your ear clips. And if you don't have access to ear clips, we all have the small sticky pads. And so you take the sticky pads and you place them behind your ears. If you put your fingers behind your ears, you'll feel a bone back there. That's the mastoid bone. And if you place the sticky pads on the mastoid bone behind your ears, you'll get the same results. We're basically doing at that point something called CES, cranial electrical stimulation. And we run that bed rest program and immediately the body is goes from sympathetic to parasympathetic. That's so I wanted amazing. to point that out because it, it is, you know, that alone, there are devices <laughs> out there that are being sold right now on the marketplace for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And all they do is stimulate the vagus nerve. They have that one single function. With us, we have hundreds and hundreds of functions, but included in that is my favorite, which is the, the bed rest program for stimulating the vagus nerve. And, and that's using the microcurrent application again. That's, that's using, using the, the healing, microcurrent application, which is, yes. That's why it's so important to see the distinct, unique feature of both devices. And they right. both has its, its place. And and, and if you mentioned about uh, a stress, right? We also have the Healy Watch, which is amazing. Healy, Healy Watch is very unique. Yes. And, and it's different I'll from all the so. other devices out there. Not yeah. only it measure our heart rate variance, our sleep patterns, our, our stress level, it's a feed, feedback system that can feed the information back, connect to our Healy. And with our specific watch Healy program that we can monitor and then, and then uh, uh, have the, 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 the selective frequency program to bring our, our body back into the body to balance and over time you can actually track the improvement of the, your vitals which is very very unique and only the Healy and the Healy watch can provide that and there's no other stuff out there that well, does that. There are, other, there are other watches like Apple watches and other watches that can take certain parameters uh, you know that they measure uh, but what's unique about the Healy and my favorite program on the watch program is the HRV or heart rate variability program because as we were just talking about it, the HRV is a level, a specific number to monitor how stressed your body is. When you run your, and I, I've been wearing this watch now for two and a half years, 24 seven, and monitoring my HRV, um, you can see the improvements that occur by using the Healy. That's so wonderful of having the, actually having the watch because you have a measurement device that actually tells you where you begin and where you've gone to. And if you use the recommended programs that are connected with the watch, you'll see changes come pretty rapidly. Uh, another part of the, of the Healy watch that I really like is the measurement of the sleep cycles, the, the deep sleep, the REM sleep. Um, because when I started using the watch, I never before had tracked the actual state of my sleep. I knew personally that I needed to get eight hours of sleep. That was good for me, but that's all I knew. Little did I know that there were these levels of sleep that could be tracked. Um, and based on that, you could get a lot of information because we all know that sleep is so important and that that's the place where our body does most of its repair. But it usually does it in the, in the, in the time frame of what is called deep sleep. And when I first took that first reading, that very first uh, time, I was horrified to see that I was only getting somewhere between 45 minutes to one hour in deep sleep, which is not really that great. And over time, as I ran some of the balancing programs that are associated with the Healy Watch, I now consistently have four to four and a half hours of deep sleep every night, which actually exceeds wow. the time 
that is recommended. So that and we all me, know again, sleep is so important. Like, because yes. we detox and we have different hours and times. There are natural cycles. There's different programs, and 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 everything is related in 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 our health, right? And that just right. amazing. I'm so glad you you took the time to explain to us uh, of the various programs available for you know uh, helping with our sleep, and uh, and, and I just want to also uh, highlight that um, um, with the Healy, we also have access to the Heal Advisor Search. Uh, uh, app, which is another amazing app. It's kind of like connected to an expert and you can, there's a search function, you can uh, search a particular issue and they can tell you which programs are uh, available and they tie into the, the pink app and you can use different microcurrent program to, uh, to help with uh, um, kind of um, helping me with different issues, right? So again, that's very unique with the Healy as well. And we can go on and on and on about the Healy, but again, this exactly. is not what we're doing here for... today. <laughs> right. We just highlight the key unique differences. We have like literally like unlimited number of videos online that go into all these things. We have all the programs, just yeah, hundreds right. of programs. But right. I'm just going to just move forward to the next part of the, the presentation because I think now that we're clear about what the Healy provide in, in, in helping with our holistic health and tapping to different areas, the, the MAC Healy is very, very unique and very, very effective. And, um, and Doc Steve is going to you know go through the slide to um, help out. I'm going to see if I can go to the next slide because my computer he is stuck in this mode <laughs> and uh, but there are four core um applications that come with the makili that we can take a look okay so uh doc steve cool. can you just start talking about the four applications yeah. while i'm trying to flip to the next slide <laughs> yeah you may want to just close out the uh, that presentation started again. Yeah. So one of the things about uh, here we go. Okay. So uh, one of the things uh, about heal uh, about the Medic Healy is the fact that it puts out what's called a pulsed magnetic field, a pulsed magnetic field, and this field has a radius of approximately five to six feet. So as I said, you can say, for example, put it on a table and have people around the table and each one of them would be treated at the same time. We also have two quantum sensors, as we mentioned earlier, whereas the Healy has one quantum sensor the mag Healy has two quantum sensors. Of course, we need two quantum sensors because when we're running the mac Healy programs, we're running dual programs. And the dual, uh, and, and dual programs. Uh, we also have a Kazarev mirror um, in uh, the mac Healy. And that is uh, a mirror that allows us to do very interesting things when we connect into the cloud and connect into the information field. And when we uh, run uh, the Mac Healy, another function that we have that's not talked about a lot, but is but also is important in terms of um, of the functions here is that it's, uh, as you saw earlier, and for some reason, it disconnected from my phone here. My phone is giving me a little issue here because now it's not allowing me to even Um, the lights that go around work um, in the infrared range, and I know many people like to do work with uh, infrared, so we're actually having infrared uh, benefits from, uh, from using uh, the Mac Healy also. Wow. Um, so uh, again, emitting a magnetic field, it's a pulse magnetic field. So that takes advantage of the benefits of the magnetic field application in the surrounding space. Again, it treats the surrounding area, has a uh, uh, radius 
uh, of about one and a half meters or somewhere between five to six feet. And so say you're in a very, very large room and you want to get people having the benefit of it, you can get multiple Machiles and place them, say five to six feet apart. And as you run those programs, they will actually go into resonance with one another and, uh, and amplify the field. Um, we have uh, four unique modules, which we'll get into in a moment. Uh, each one has a different function. Uh, as we said earlier, it's easy and convenient to use. We don't have wires. It's battery powered. Uh, we can use the device when it's on its charging plate. And again, like the Healy, it's controlled by its own unique uh, smartphone app. Use it anywhere, anytime. Uh, so then we get to the whole aspect of dual frequencies, which again is the basis of the Macon frequency specific microcurrents. Uh, so we have dual magnetic frequencies that address imbalances in the bioenergetic field. So what does that mean? Well, in classic frequency specific microcurrents, we have what are called channels. We have the A channel and the B channel. The A channel is always the condition. So for example, um, say you want to deal with, you have an inflammation, as I mentioned earlier, well, 40 hertz would be the inflammation, and that would be on the A channel. Or, for example, if you wanted to restore vitality in an organ, 49 hertz would be that frequency. If there was scarring, and you wanted to address that, 30 hertz would be the frequency of scarring. So the channel A, again, is always the channel of the condition, and then the channel B is the channel of the tissue or the organ. So 396 hertz would be the, uh, the channel and the frequency of nerves. 191 hertz, for example, would be the frequency of tendons. 116 hertz would be the frequency of the immune system. So say you had a neuropathy, which is an inflammation of the nerves, you'd be using a program that delivers 40 hertz for inflammation and 191 hertz for nerves simultaneously. And you can actually see that in the Healy app itself, those two specific and unique frequencies being run at the same time. Now, I also wanted to mention in terms of the power of the uh, Mag Healy itself, because it has a magnetic field strength of what's called 300 micro Teslas, which is a measurement of magnetic strength um, which is six times the magnetic field that the Earth puts out itself. So the Earth puts out, in general, 50 microteslas. The Magkili puts out 300 microteslas. Wow. <laughs> the ranges are different, too. So the range of the Healy's, as we know, is from 0.1 hertz to 1.0 megahertz. That's the Healy frequency range. However, the mag Healy frequency range is 0 0.1 hertz to 12.5 megahertz. And why is that important? Well, one of the reasons it's important because it extends itself to that higher range is that 10 megahertz is a very, very powerful frequency. It has specific effects on our meridian systems, which then resonate with our bioenergetic system and also what's called the coherent domain of water. They all resonate at that 10 megahertz level, which the Mag Healy incorporates in its programs. Also, that 10 megahertz is the resonant frequency of microtubules, which run throughout our body. And as we know, what really transmits frequencies into our bodies is the actually water, the intracellular, the extracellular water that's in the tissues of our body are transmitting the frequencies to all areas of our body. You know, there's a book out uh, and new studies by a Dr. Gerald Pollack called The Four Phases of Water, which is really an interesting one and very much applies to the use of Healy and the use of Healy frequencies because of the fact that this fourth state of water is looked upon as a crystalline matrix form of water. And as we know with crystals, crystals retain 
and send frequencies very easily within their structure. So when water is in that crystalline structure, as it is in our collagen and the areas between our bones and our skeletal system, when we apply the frequency from, a, from the either mag -Healy or the Healy, it easily is transmitted simultaneously to the other areas of the body. And again, that 10 Hertz is powerful specifically because it resonates with water. And therefore, as we'll see in a moment, oh, as I see May, you just put that, that application up. We have an actual water application. So we can actually send frequencies for certain conditions into the water even more powerfully than we could do by just taking the Healy and leaning it up a glass of water, because that is another way of sending frequencies into the water is to lean the Healy uh, and let it with the electromagnetic field affect the water. But by using the more powerful mag Healy, which has a more powerful magnetic field, we can basically take a container of usually glass is the best, and then we can take the mag Healy, we can use the specific program, put it on top of the container of water, it runs for about 10 minutes, we can um, then allow the frequencies to imprint the water and then drink the water during the day. So we have another way now of getting the frequencies during our day uh, beyond using the device. And actually this is going to enhance the application. So- Are these up, uh, water applications single or dual frequencies? No, these are single frequency applications, but they're multiple frequency applications. In other words, what I mean by that is just like the Healy, every 10 seconds, the frequencies change, the frequencies do change for the water applications also. Wow. As you can see, they're very diverse um, and um, in what they treat, um, they work with things like energy, mental clarity. Um, they even, uh, you know, bring your water into a state of coherence. Uh, a lot of people like uh, to use and, and drink structured water. Well, when you use the water coherence program, it brings the water into a structured state, which is more coherent. We talked earlier about the vagus. So there is a specific program uh, in the water applications where you can actually uh, charge your water with the vagus and again, use that to, uh, to deal with stress. You There's like a post-stress and anti-stress specific program. I'm so excited. Right. And, <laughs> you know, the, sleep, the sleep frequencies that you may want to, you know, drink a glass of water an hour or so before you go to bed, you can charge it with the sleep frequencies. And another real interesting one that a lot of people out there will find very interesting. I know a lot of people in our community do various types of intermittent fasting or fasting, and we can actually create uh, a frequency during our actual fasting process. So we can drink the water that's charged with the fa morning fasting frequencies, the noon fasting frequencies, and the evening fasting frequencies. And if you so, think about uh, our body is basically, our cells is made out of water. And to have these uh, are structured, analyzed to inform the water and, and, and analyze our cells, it's like, you can just imagine how how, how vital this is going to be. 90% of the water ultimately, by, uh, you know, is, is, uh, is, is contained with water. In other words, 90% 90, 90 of the body uh, is made up of water uh, ultimately. And so water is the key. And that's why I always tell people, if you really want to run the perfect Healy session, uh, irregardless if it's with the coil, the Healy, or the mag Healy, it's really important to be well hydrated to drink at least one and a half to three liters per day. And there's a real key in terms of kind of knowing scientifically how much water to drink. And basically that key is take your body weight, divide it in half, and that would be the amount of water in ounces that you would have to drink minimally per day to stay hydrated. And so if you have um, a, you know, 125 pound person, they would be drinking, you know, 60 ounces of water, uh, and that's eight glasses. So eight times eight is 64. 
Um, and so that's the classic when they when when they say drink eight ounces of class of water per day, which is the the rule of thumb. It only applies to what they call the average person. So they always use 125 pounds as the average person. But you just take your own weight, divide it in half, and then convert it into ounces. Because so many times people will say to me, I can't get the I can't get the circle on the on the pink dot program to turn white. It's always turning black. That is a sign right off the bat that you're dehydrated, that you're dehydrated internally, that your skin is dry. So it's really important to drink water. And now we have a way of actually infusing our water with these amazing frequencies. So I believe that with the Mag Healy, people are gonna really start drinking a lot more water, mate, because they're able to do so many things with their water. Oh, you bet, you bet. And and what excites me the most is the fasting. Even within fasting, there's three specific fasting specific program. And we all know that, that there's the science behind uh, fasting, intermittent fasting, and when you fast, you're not eating, and, and just water or liquid that we're taking is so crucial. And then as you're fasting, our body is detoxing, flushing out all the toxins, and it's just, it, it doesn't, a, like, a as I say, I keep it very a simple. Pizza. I'm not a scientist yeah. myself, but right. it's just so, so exciting just to be able to have this piece of simple technology and just with the press of the button and have all these benefits. Uh, let's go to the next slide here. Okay, so um, do you want to... So these are what I call the classic applications. So these are basically uh, what are considered classic pulse magnetic field applications. Um, and and uh, the thing is, is that, again, to distinguish uh, the Mag Healy from other devices, so people will say to you probably, well, what's the difference between a Mag Healy and a PEMF device, which is the pulse electromagnetic field uh, devices, which are also popular these days. And the fact is, is that most PEMF mats that I am aware of only have a very few uh, frequencies that are involved. Some of them only have one, okay, or a few you can tune into. We have a whole set of just what are called the classical uh, pulse magnetic field frequencies. And as you can see, we have another one for sleep. We have one for regeneration. Um, energy circulation, fatigue, um, sound of silence would be a great one to use, you know, when you're doing meditation. Uh, those, those are the basic classical applications. Uh, let's move to the next. Yeah, and my understanding, these applications are, have proven track record. We have the studies to back it up that they have proven to be effective. So we're very these are These are uh, frequencies that have been used for years in the field yeah, exactly. of uh, pulse application. magnetic applications. Exactly right. Then we have the McMakin applications. And the McMakin applications are the true FSM, frequency specific microcurrent. These are the dual channel ones that I was talking about in terms of the frequency channel A for condition and channel B for tissue or organ. And as you can see here, uh, we have 24 of the most common and popular areas that Carolyn works with. These are her specific protocols, her specific frequencies. And we can see how we can treat various areas of the spine. Uh, we can treat certain organs like the kidney, uh, bring the brain back in harmony. Um, we can work again with the vagus nerve, that ever important vagus nerve. Um, and in this particular grouping, I have to say that having used the Mackeely now for the last couple of months, my absolute favorite program in this application is the sleep program. Because I can tell you that I've never ever had a better night's sleep than I have when I run the Mackeely near my bed, it runs for about four and a half hours and I start it as soon as I lay down. And when I wake up in the morning, I am absolutely refreshed, energized to start my day, uh, which is, isn't, wasn't always the case before using the Mackeely. And then another really great aspect of using the sleep program is say, for example, that you can't get your eight hours of sleep that you're used to or that you need. And that happens to me a lot, it happens today. I was up late last night and had to get up real early. So I got about five hours of sleep today. And many times I am working 
and communicating with Germany, the product development team, et cetera. So I'm staying up either really late at night or waking up really early and I don't get that eight hours of sleep. Well, I can tell you I've run an experiment and I've used the Mag Keeley with five hours of sleep. And I can tell you that even with five hours of sleep, I actually, my body felt like I had the full eight hours of sleep. So I was able to get through the day without fatigue, without feeling kind of foggy and groggy. So that for me, what is my favorite program of the, uh, in the Mag, Mag, McMakin applications, but they're that's, all amazing. That's amazing, that's amazing. Again, these are all um, based on uh, Dr. McMakin's uh, uh, presentation. These are already proven. They've been in practice mm. for years with a lot of uh, uh, clinical studies and a lot of uh, great results, uh, testimonials from her, her clients. So these are the true FSM frequencies over 25 years. <laughs> right. These are these are the true FSM frequencies. And it's mind boggling that we have this going to be at our fingertip. I know. That we Isn't can use amazing? every single day for the lifetime yes. access to right. all these programs. At everybody in our family, uh, with our coworkers. Uh, I I just you know I I just don't understand like how lucky we are. Honestly. How about going to the next slide, the atmosphere? So the atmosphere uh, 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 programs are the ones that I uh, explained that you can put in a room and you can literally change the frequency of a room. You know, uh, a lot of people use aromatherapy to try to diffuse in a room to make some shifts and changes, but we actually have specific frequencies that when we run them in a room, we can affect every single person in that space to get them in sort of an alignment of what it is we're looking to do. And as you can see here, we have so many different areas of use. We can put it in our offices when we go to work during the day so we can focus on the work that has to be done. Again, sleeping is a great one. Uh, uh, again, which is the one that I use um at uh at night before i go to bed i actually use the atmosphere one uh, rather than the mcmakin one um you can use it to encourage plants to grow you can use it to clear a room you know there's so many times somebody will say to me i need some i need an energy healer to come into my house to clear the energy of the room rooms that are to clear the energy of this house and i just feel that it's kind of funky there's something in my home i can just tell that the energy is is off. You can run energy clearing in there. Um, car wellness is important because so many people these days are driving electrical vehicles like Tesla's and other electrical vehicles. And when you drive an electrical vehicle, there's a grid that's set up in the car that's not necessarily healthy that you're sitting in. You're sitting in a cage like a, a grid. And so having the Healy with you and having it next to you while you're driving would be a great way of dissipating that negative uh, grid in your car. Uh, again, with this going to an even greater state, the electrosensitivity harmonization is a way to balance ourselves when we're being exposed and bombarded all the time by 5G and a let, a other electromagnetic radiation that comes into our houses and is with us all the time. Running the electrosensitivity harmonization will clear a lot of that 5G out of our space. Family harmony is a great one to run at the dinner table when everyone's having dinner at night and the family gets together, placing the Mackeely in the center of the table and running that to create more harmony uh, in the group. We even have programs here like we have the Healy for animal wellness, which is really great and uh, balancing animals. And the way I look at that is uh, I do a lot of work with animal rescues and when I go into an animal rescue, the dogs are always very hypersensitive and they're, uh, they're very stressed out. Um, and imagine having Mankeelys in uh, rescues and shelters and turning it on and allowing that frequency to transmit throughout the rescue and calming all of those animals down. Isn't that wonderful? We also have one I know many people are going to probably turn on immediately, which is the finance financial and prosperity frequency. Who doesn't want more prosperity in their lives? So running the atmosphere application will create and enhance our uh, prosperity. 
Uh, and as you can see, there are so many programs we can uh, pick and choose from here. So yeah, I just want to I... add a couple of words with the atmosphere application sure. is because uh, this is just amazing. And in Chinese, we have something called feng shui. Yes, feng shui, feng shui is basically uh, enhancing the flow of energy. I remember when I was little, we have a feng shui master coming to, to our house and then moving the furniture around because it's blocking the energy. So imagine it's it's all the same. It's about, you know, for us to feel better, right? And things uh, play a certain way. And when the, when the energy flows, you, you just don't really know how and why you feel better. When it doesn't flow, you everything's not, not going right. It is affecting your stress. It's affecting how you feel. And so um, um, this is going to be very, very exciting for people who are yes, into optimizing the, the energies in your living space and everything. And thanks Absolutely. for pointing out about the, the car it's, uh, it's, wellness part. That one it's is it's like a, a frequency, huge thing. It's like a frequency version of, of, of uh, feng shui. Um, actually, I do. I Every year, uh, the Chinese New Year, I have a feng shui practitioner that comes into my home in my office and helps me realign the energy in my space by balancing you know earth and wood and metal and putting various objects in various places and yet this allows me to do this on a daily basis to create that harmony and it's no surprise that this application uh would be in, involved with healy because as we know the roots of marcus he came out, uh, you know, in that Indian tradition. That's where he comes from. And in the Indian tradition, they have a way of doing energy Vedic placement uh, also. That's very, very similar to feng shui. Um, and it's all about the energetics of a space. So this to me was really, really exciting, knowing that we would be able to uh, not only shift the energy in our physical bodies, but then shift the energy in the spaces that we live and work and play in on a daily basis. So that is so uh, amazing. I'm, and then when yeah. you put it in a living space and the the, the 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 energy changes and we all feel better, the interaction of the people, like imagine the family, the harmony, right? And the the the, the quantum entanglement, everything just, just kind of uh, uh, resonate with each other. It's just very, very exciting. <laughs> yeah, and when I mean, putting this, you know, having a couple of Mac Healy's and then and when your children are doing their homework at night, making sure that the Mac Healy is in the room, they're doing their homework and also um, also uh, making, uh, you know, sure that you run the learning concentration and study programs at that time. That's amazing, amazing. And I think it's about time to just do a quick wrap up. If, if you don't mind, uh, Dr. Steve, can you just do a quick wrap up uh, of this presentation for us? I'm going to switch my, somebody's mentioning that my mic is having a little bit of static here. So I'm going to go to the non mic here. How is that? Is that a little better in terms of uh, hearing me, May? I, I can hear you. I can hear you. It's okay. So basically, um, this is the same chart we have at the beginning of the presentation, just highlighting the, the key differences. And just to help um, everyone to get an idea what the, the, the main unique features are. And I think I hope that um, uh, uh, that everyone here is clear that we're not replacing one over another. It's kind of like your, 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 your both your hands and your legs, which one is more important? You can say that they have very distinct features and it's about offering choices to consumers uh, that uh, whatever that they need, they can get their hands on. So, um, um, so I one just, thing I'd like yes, to say ahead. in reference to that, which I think is really important, is the fact that, um, as we said earlier, the devices basically enhance one another so there are people now out there in the field that I'm sure uh, you're aware of that when they run the microcurrent programs with the wrist electrodes, they're also running with a second Healy, uh, a program on uh, using their scalar coil. So they're getting the benefit of the microcurrent and the scalar energy simultaneously. Imagine now having a third way of enhancing oneself by running a microcurrent program, a scalar program, and a 
magnetic program at the same time, uh, each one of them will go into a coherence with one another. And each one of these devices builds on the other devices and enhances the other devices. So can you imagine they running all three devices yes. simultaneously and really supercharging your body? Which yes, my, my two be... Healy's are always like running at the same time. My blue one is almost nonstop around the clock. And I mm -hmm. set a profile for different uh, people. Uh, I have groups of people, my whole family, my husband and I, like just, just uh, yeah, the, the, the resonance that it caused, it's just amazing. So, um, so the, the Michele will be available, I believe, uh, in Europe beginning, I guess, at the end of July. Uh, the, the cost uh, is approximately 2,800 euro for the Machili. Uh It comes with the charging stand and the Machili. Um, and then it will be available to the rest of the world, uh, I, I, I've been told, uh, sometime in August, a few weeks after that. Um, I do know that uh, there's going to be a limited run initially of Magheelis. And the reason for that is that the chip that's being used in the Magheeli uh, is a specific chip that is also, interestingly enough, one of the chips is being used in some popular automobiles right now in terms of their dashboard uh, situation. So there's been a run on chips. You know, one of the things of COVID that's been an issue for people is the fact that a lot of the chips and, and uh, parts that are used to make a lot of the electronic equipment out there uh, are not as available as they were, you know, three years ago. And so because of that, we have a, a limited amount of material right now. And they're, uh, Healy is trying to get as much as it can to go into full production, but uh, there will be a limited supply at the start. So if you are interested in the Healy, I wouldn't wait around. As soon as it becomes available, uh, I would just go and order it. Um, exactly. Like I said, and I've been using it for two months now. I absolutely love it. Uh, it has so many applications that are synergistic with everything else that I'm doing in my life and in my body. Um, and I don't think anyone will be disappointed. Exactly. And and I always re uh, remind people for all our Healy product, all our Healy product, including my Healy, it comes back by 14 days money back guarantee. So if you just with a little hesitate, don't, don't hesitate, just try it out. If you're not hundred percent satisfied, you can send it back for a full refund. So in that, the thing about that Healy, way, as we know, uh, is that nobody does because American, everybody just cannot let go of their Healy's. <laughs> exactly. They don't have returns specifically because people don't like it. If there's any ever returns, it may be just for maybe a, a technical difficulty with the device itself. But Healy does not have uh, a high level of return. Once somebody gets a Healy and they start using it, they have that Healy for life. Okay, so before we, see we, the last, we start, uh, let's like just see if there's any questions. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I was going to say before, uh, for the final part here, let's see if there are any specific uh, questions that anyone has that they want to ask me. And it could be about the Mag Healy, the Healy. I'm open to taking any questions about anything related to Healy. Yes, Michelle? I can summarize the question. Uh, I already summarized the questions to just to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, in the interest of time. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, like, um, uh, let's go through the questions. And if, if we only uh, covered in the presentation, maybe we can skip those. People can go back to watch the replay. Let's just focus on the questions that uh, we did not cover. Yeah, um, uh, regarding to um, uh, energize the water, somebody asked how long the frequency will be in, uh, will, uh, will hold when it has, uh, after the imprint. Uh, well, that depends on the environment and the material that you use to put the water in. So, um, you know, I put, I use glass because glass tends to uh, retain the frequencies better. But I also use, um, I have a, I place this in a bag, like a, a Faraday bag, which is a bag that protects it from exposure to other things in the environment. And when I have that in that bag, uh, uh, then it, it's pretty much, it'll be, you know, it'll, it'll run, I don't know, 12 hours, 24 hours at least, uh, that'll be, uh, that'll retain those frequencies. And then you That's can always recharge tip. it because it only, it only takes 10 minutes 
to apply uh, the frequencies to a to a liter size of water. So um, you can buy two liter bottles if you want to, and after you charge the first one, you can automatically put the Mac Healy on the second one, so that's ready for you. So after you finish the first one, you just go right to the second one. But I would say that you know definitely uh, would retain the frequencies at least for a day. And I also remember Doc, Dr. McMakin also say if you have an office and you have one of those uh, big tank of water, you can literally put the Mac Healy on top to energize to to uh, that the, the whole tank of water for the whole office. So five gallon containers yes, that people commonly which is amazing. use in the amazing. water uh, in an office. On the same line, and somebody it. want to know if the coil can be used to imprint the water, the the frequency uh, for the water as well. Can the coil? Yes, be I mean we we that? can we we can imprint water with the uh, with the Healy coil, with the Healy itself, uh, just by leaning. Uh, has to be in very close contact with the with the container itself. You can lean the Healy uh, with or without the coil uh, against the uh, against the container of water, and that is a another form of doing it. But uh, electromagnetic frequency is a weaker state than the magnetic frequency. So it's going to, you're going to have a much more powerful experience using the mag Healy to energize water, but you can still energize water with the Healy itself. And I just okay. want to point out that different programs, for example, we mentioned the children playing or different uh, a specific program that come with the Mac Healy's are not available in the Healy. So that is a distinct uh, unique features between the two as well. And can the Mac can the Mac Healy, the Healy um, that are not in the Mac Healy. Okay, can the Healy put a near um, uh, like a metal, uh, let's say if you have surgery before, because Healy, you cannot really put with the microcurrent, you cannot put where the metal um, is, right? So well, I always say as a rule of thumb, not to ever put anything that's putting any kind of frequency out. Uh, and, and if you have any kind of metallic implant in the body, you definitely don't want to um, uh, put anything that's going to be putting any kind of a, an electromagnetic uh, or magnetic field on top of it because of the fact that it can influence, particularly you know, we have that caveat that says it's contraindicated with somebody that has a pacemaker, for example. I would have to say to be very careful again using um, the Mag Healy with anyone that has any kind of implanted electronics. You know, some people have uh, uh, implants in their ears and their in their you know hearts and other places, um, and it, it would be be used a lot of caution around those specific areas. And always consult with your doctor. Yes. Yeah. Healy cannot be used for distance uh, application, right, Doc Steve? Well, I mean that's that's controversial because I mean when you think about it, anything could be used for distance application because of uh, the quantum entanglement effect. So um, if you had a photograph of a person, okay, that you had, and you had the Mag Healy and you turned the Mag Healy on and placed it on the photograph, there is a, the potential of being able to transmit that energy to that person just via the photograph. I mean, it's been known to be done. I mean, people that work in that realm of radionics will tell you they do it every single day. Uh, by just using something as simple as a photograph. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that there are applications for that. I find though that by using the Healy and the blue dot, when we're able to actually enter in all the parameters of the person and, and, and if they're present at least once and we get their frequency stored, there's a greater chance of having a bigger effect on people using that blue dot. But again, I mean, I would try it out and see what happens. It's all and, about quantum entanglement and a photograph carries the frequency of the person. So if you put the Mac Healy and, and again, the most important thing is, irregardless of what you're doing, whenever you're using a Healy, your intention is the single most important thing that allows Healy to give it its best possible chance. So if your intention, when you put that Mac Healy on that person's photograph is to be able to send that energetic to that person, then that's exactly what will happen. But I just want to I just want to point out the fact that distinct features about the the power, the magnetic, the the, the PMF uh, uh, application of the Mac Healy is if, uh, for example, you're using the McMakin application, certain applications, the effectiveness 
the effectiveness is in the, in the physical level, the physical body level. So you actually have to have the device on your body or near your environment. And we didn't mention about that. But obviously, right. whatever Dr. Steve uh, says on those other uh, other areas that inv involving the quantum physics applies. But it's, it's it, you have to be very clear about uh, what you're using, which program you're using, right? And I just As want to I mention- As I said earlier, with the McMakin programs, for example, if I had a problem with a rotator cuff injury, attendance in my shoulder, I would actually place it directly because the closer right. contact you have with that magnetic field, the more you know, powerful it is, and that and that sequence with the mech maker. And then for that particular here, program, you can't really do it in distance, right? Exactly. To get the same effectiveness, the, right? With the atmosphere programs, you're much more likely to have an effect in a distance situation. Right. There's a question regarding the light uh, that is em emitting uh, from yes. the Haley. Yes. Uh, you said it is infrared. Is it on the side when the light is is yes, emitting? It is, it, it is infrared. And what does it do? <laughs> when, well, the when... infrared light has a benefit because, as we know, uh, light does affect uh, the cells. I'm turning this on again here uh, so I can show it to you. Um, light does have a powerful effect. Uh, we've heard about, a lot about red light therapy that a lot of people use. It's, uh, it's used to uh, lower inflammation. Uh, so it'll have that uh, specific effect of also, uh, you know, having that inf uh, of, of that effect on inflammation in the body. And as you can see here, we have the different types of lights uh, that are on based on the, uh, the different programs that we run. Uh, and sometimes we have all of them running and sometimes we have only some. And let's see here. I actually got an infrared uh, light therapy from my chiropractor a couple of times when I hurt my wrist, but that's only limited to, to one thing. And again, that's that's also uh, available with the Mahi. That's amazing. And and to while Doc Steve is looking, and I just want to make one comment again to remind some of you who does not have the Healy, is through the Healy that blew up. We have an amazing selections of programs that are available that you can uh, uh, set a profile and send send um, um, uh, frequencies and a distance. Um, and a lot of those programs are not available in the Makili. It's very unique into restoring our, our holistic health. Any other questions? Um, there are questions regarding Healy. Uh, do you have time for a few Healy questions? Sure. I'd like to end at, you know, at, at, in a few minutes at 8.30 so that it doesn't run long. But if you can give me some, yes, I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. Okay. Uh, some answer. people ask uh, whether you can actually charge. You said you, you cannot charge the unit while they're using the Healy. Is it referring both the red app, uh, red dots and the, uh, the blue, blue dots? They cannot yeah, use it's, it's best not to use the Healy while it's being plugged into the source, the electrical source. It's best to use the Healy after it's it's fully charged. The reason is that it may it may um, affect the battery, the life of the battery, or um, just the fact that it's being uh, you know plugged in. Uh, you're getting um, you know uh, if you if the if the Healy's plugged in while you're using it, you're getting, you know, whatever is also running through the current of the house, you're getting some of the effects of, and we all know that most people's homes, there's levels of what's called dirty electricity that runs through uh, the current in the house. So you wouldn't necessarily want to have that also part of the process when you're running a Healy uh, connected into the power source. So that's why we say when we run a Healy, we run it, uh, we charge it up fully. Uh, it takes about three to four hours to do that. And then we use the Healy and then we then put it aside and charge it again before we use it. But we don't run the programs when it's while it's plugged in. Whereas with the Mac Healy, it's a little different process here uh, because it's magnetic um, and it can be run while it's sitting on uh, the charging plate. Okay. I think uh, the time is kind of running out. And uh, thank I'll you so much. I'll take one more question. 
Okay, uh, there, there is another question, maybe it kind of related to some medical condition. They said, can I put the pads beside, uh, behind the ears if I have a shunt in my head to bypass a tumor? I wouldn't, uh, honestly. I would just use it on the wristbands at that point. Again, you wanna be careful when you're putting any kind of um, magnetic or electrical uh, you know, energy in certain areas of the body if you have a specific condition. And again, as we said earlier, if you have a question, consult your physician about that and see, ask him, uh, what would the effect be if I had a magnetic field or an electrical field close to this specific area? But I tend to tell people you know, to be on the safe side and uh, keep it away directly from, you know, metallic implants and other issues similar to that that you may have on your body. Um, somebody, okay. just the last question. Uh, somebody right. said, uh, if the company can, can we do a pre-order through the company? No, uh, no. we cannot do a pre-order. Uh, I believe, um, not sure the date in Europe that the uh, Healy is going to be released. I, I heard it was something like either the 15th or 16th of July, unless you know any further information, um, May, uh, but there are no pre-orders. And it's first stay come, tuned. first serve. Stay close yeah. to your, your, your sponsor and all. We have like almost every single day we have webinar. We have Frequency Friday. So just stay tuned and uh, order as soon as available. All of us are anticipating, and I just want to take a moment to say thank you to show to show our gratitude uh, to Dr. Steve to take um, take the time to prepare this presentation and to uh, to share his his uh, decades of knowledge with us. And we're very lucky. Hopefully, one of these days we can invite him back again uh, when the McHealy is uh, is is we have more testimonials of people using the McHealy and to learn more about how to uh, um, use this uh, exciting tool. Thank you very much again for your your um, your time and um, and please uh, feel free to unmute yourself to say goodbye as we end this amazing session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day, everybody. And the recording Thank will you. be available for you to share with your friends and families. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you again soon. Bye. See you Take soon. Care. See ya.